Yo, what's up guys? We are back today for another live on Pokemon Showdown in the RU tier today, of course, as our Wednesday schedule suggests. And uh, we're going to be using a cool team I put together. Uh, it's using Sneasel. If you don't know, Mega Steelix and Tyrantrum are actually being suspect tested right now. So that kind of opens the door to uh, Pokemon like Sneasel, like Fletchender, excuse me. I've got a Banded Golurk on this team. I'll just show you really quickly. I've also got uh, Wish Passing Aroma Matisse. Kind of nice for healing up Sneasel from the Life Orb damage, things like that. We've got a Rocky Helmet Dredagon over here. Very nice for setting up rocks. Electros, just uh, modest, super powerful. Hits really, really hard with that base 105 special attack in this tier. Assault Vest allows us to take hits, and Fletchender is pretty much an endgame cleaner. Along with uh, Sneasel, you might be wondering why Fletchender doesn't have an item, but in this tier, of course... Uh, Talonflame's baby brother doesn't write an, or, uh, run an item excuse me, because of acrobatics. Uh, Swords Dance, will wisp Bruce, so it's a pretty cool team. I uh, got a couple of games with it uh, last night, actually, and did pretty well, so I'm going to be trying it out here. So we get a game right away, kind of nice. And uh, this, guy, this guy is extremely Golurk weak, like crazy Golurk weak. Like every time it comes in for free, it just gets a kill. He has nothing off the ground. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is lead with... Dredagon, actually, it seems like my most solid lead against the Chinchino, things like that. He chooses to lead with his Drapion, so very nice. And uh, we're just going to get up rocks here, honestly. Nothing uh, this thing can really do to scare me too much. Uh, if he goes for Swords Dance, I'll just Dragon Tail him out the following turn, so it's all good. He actually chooses to go for Taunt, so very nice play on his part. Again, he's going to have to hit me, so uh, unless he has uh, uh, Toxic Spikes, that works, yeah. All right, so we missed the Dragon Tail, unfortunately, and we don't have any hazard removal on this team, so it's going to be a little bit uh, hindering if he puts up another layer of Spike, as he does. And uh, we're finally going to get the Dragon Tail off here, just in time, too, because our Taunt wears off. He can go for an HP Ice right here. Uh, I do just want to get up my rocks, though. I'm not uh, I'm not too worried about this thing. He does go for the HP Ice. It does very, very little. He is Life Orb. Uh, I could even switch out on the next HP Ice if I choose to into my Electros. Which is not a terrible play, I'll be able to fire off something like Gator Drain or uh, even an Acid Spray is not bad on the next turn. So, uh, just going to do that, going to go into Electros. Uh, Electros obviously doesn't get affected by the Toxic set, but Spikes thanks to Levitate. And we're going to take that in power, I uh, just find that was actually a crit, so he really can't touch us. Uh, we're just going to fire off an Acid Spray here. Anything that wants to come in is going to take a tremendous amount of damage, including the Delphox, the Sceptile especially. He has Hyper Voice on his, uh, on his Jolteon, quite interesting. Uh, just going to fire off an Acid Spray there, he is going to put him at uh, minus 2 Special Defense. And I think a flamethrower should be able to take him out. Alternatively, I can just gain some back, uh, back some health with Giga Drain as well. Giga Drain is not going to do as much, obviously, but hmm, I'm thinking, do I want to knock this thing out right now? I kind of want to keep my Electro, so I'm just going to go for another, uh, well, for a Giga Drain this time. And we are going to be able to knock out the Jolteon, luckily, after the Life Orb damage. I think if it wasn't for the Life Orb, then we wouldn't have taken him out. Uh, taken him out. So, very nice right there. And uh, Electros is going to pick up the first kill. Awesome. So we got rid of the Jolteon, which is a little bit of an issue. His uh, Drapion now comes in. It is obviously faster than me and can probably knock me out with any physical hit. But he's Taunt and Toxic Spikes. Did he really knock me out? I kind of just feel like going into Dredagon, honestly. On whatever physical move he's going to go for. And he chooses to go for Poison Jab, which is great because he's going to take all that recoil. And now he has to hit me again. And I'm just going to click Dragon Tail, so... Uh, he's going to take a tremendous amount once again. This pretty much puts him in range of uh, acrobatics from... I actually chooses to go for taunt there, not exactly sure why. Uh, as now he's definitely in range. And uh, Chinchino's going to come in. Uh, I don't think Rock Blast actually makes contact. I'm just going to go for Dragon Tail again. There's no worries here. And um, he's going to choose to go back into his Drapion. Okay, I guess he doesn't want it to be set up fodder for uh, Fletchender. That's a good play. Um, I'm going to go into here... Uh, I'm kind of tempted to just go into Golurk. Um, he could go into Absol, though, which is kind of what I'm scared of. But I think I'm just going to go into Golurk. Uh, if he goes into Absol, then so be it. But he chooses to go into Jinshino, excuse me. And uh, I can choose to fire off a Dynamic Punch here. This is Banded Dynamic Punch. Earthquake does take him out, but it doesn't take out Sceptile, so... Um, yeah, I'm just going to go for the dynamic right here. If he has Bullet Seed, it might not be able to knock me out unless he's banded, I believe. We are pretty bulky, so we'll see, though. And uh, if he does choose to lock himself into Bullet Seed, then I just go Fletch, and I just go for a um, for the Swords Dance, and we'll be able to, to win from there. So he does go for the Bullet Seed. That does a lot. The first one was a crit, that's why. Okay. Uh, and Fletch is going to come out here, and we are just going to go for the Swords Dance right now. And pretty much, uh, I think plus two acro should be able to take out Delphox after rocks, right? Delphox, 
Where are you, Bill Fox? Uh, let's say, are you Choice Scarf versus Fletchender? Uh, Swords Dance set, of course. And let's see. 61 without the plus two, so yeah, that definitely goes down. He can't stay in here. He's more than likely locked after we saw that damage. Uh, it would have done 40. 40% uh, without the crit, something like 41, 42, so he's definitely banded, and uh, I don't think Absol's Sucker Punch actually knocks us out, so Absol, and the rest of his team doesn't get priority. All out attacker, let's see, the Sucker Punch damage, this is lagging a little bit, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, Sucker Punch actually has a chance to knock us out, so it's a little bit worrisome. Um, he went for the Bullet Seed right there, I'm just gonna go for the... Will-O-Wisp right now Because basically what I want to do is uh, leave myself at as high enough health as possible He's actually uh, not skill link. He's technician. That's probably why I did so much before but he's definitely banded nonetheless So I'm gonna go for roost right here. I'm gonna lose my uh, flying typing So the bullet seeds gonna be doing a little bit more, but uh, I just have to wait until he gets uh, only two hits and then I'm pretty much good to go and he chooses to forfeit anyway, so yeah, I could have just kept setting up swords dances there. Again, Absol was the only thing I was worried about, as it does outspeed Fletchender and then can knock it out with a sucker punch. That's why I was trying to wait until he got only two hits to put myself out of range of that. But even at that, I think he would have been able to knock me out regardless. Um, so yeah, we're just going to pick up a win on there nonetheless. And we're going to be able to jump into the next battle right here against uh, Captain McWilly. Alright, so this guy's got a Diancy. I'm actually... <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw my Sneasel set, but I'm actually packing Metal Claw in here for Diancy specifically. Uh, that was initially Pursuit, but the number of Pursuit targets in this tier is not uh, that favorable for me to want to run it. Uh, I'd much rather just have Knock Off as my, uh, as my stab move, so here what I'm going to do... Once again, he has nothing off the ground, so this is pretty safe uh, lead territory for Golurk right here. Other than the Banette, of course, which is a little bit scary. Um, but I'm just gonna fire off a Shadow Punch right here. I don't care if he burns me, really. Normally, these things don't run jolly, though. They run adamant, so I might actually be able to outspeed him. Not sure what it hits when it's, uh, jolly. Uh, adamant, excuse me. But we might be able to outspeed him here. So, and he doesn't get Prankster until the Mega Evolves. We might be able to dodge the, the Will-O-Wisp and just get a kill right off the bat. Of course... We are going to be banded, so he's going to have free reign to go into his x -Cloud. But we do have an Electros, so we're, we're okay. As he uh, does Mega Evolve, he does go for the Shadow Claw, actually, and that's going to knock us out. Okay, so he's offensive, Manette, that's okay. Uh, I do have Dredagon right here. Does this thing get Taunt? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. Get him, get him up as soon as possible. Every time his, uh, his Hitmontop is going to want to spin, it's going to have to take a lot of damage. So uh, I'm just going to go for Dragon Tail right here, because we are Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin, of course. This is basically the Garchomp of the tier. He's going to go into his Hitmontop right away. He's going to take a little bit of rocks. He's going to take the Dragon Tail. Not too much damage. I'm just going to drag him out into his Slow King, which is nice. And I'm just going to go straight into Electros here. Hopefully he doesn't go for a Psy Shock. We are physically defensive, so he shouldn't. Uh, let's see. Does he have Ice Beam? Yeah, he goes for Psy Kick. Okay, good. That's, uh, that's in our favor. He doesn't have an Electric Resist. Uh, he doesn't have an Electric Immunity, rather. Uh, and he doesn't have an electric resist either actually so I'm pretty free to volt switch right here as he takes 31 from that so not too much and I'm just gonna go into Sneasel right here Let's see what he wants to go for choose to go for Scald it's gonna do a lot of damage luckily he doesn't pick up the burn and we are gonna be able to knock something off right here he might want to go into his Diancy that's probably the best play actually he chooses to go into him on top so that's pretty good as well that actually did a tremendous amount that was another crit so that did 37 very nice and uh, we're just going to switch straight into Dredagon right here. And uh, he's not going to be able to spin for free. So let's see. He does go for the spin. And he's going to take uh, pretty much most of his health. And I'm just going to get rocks right back up here. And I uh, just want to keep this thing as anti-spin anti at this point. Like every time he wants to spin now, he's going to have to be wary of the fact that he would go down and his spin doesn't happen. So he's going to bring in Deancey here. I believe we are faster than Deancey. I think it hits 118 uninvested, something like that. 130. It might not even tie with us. Not sure, but um, I just go for a glare here. I could. Um, I think that's my play. Hopefully he's not sub. We do get the glare. And he goes for rocks. Okay, so that's not too bad. And uh, we, that does hinder Fletch a little bit. But Fletch cleans regardless of being lowered or not at this point because his hip on top is so low. 
Um, what do I want to go into here? Kind of just want to go Electros to eat up the hit and follow it up with a Giga Drain afterwards as he goes for the Heal Bell, actually. Okay, cool. That's all right. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for Giga Drain right here. Get some of my health back. He's going to go into his Hitmon top. We're going to be able to knock that thing out and get a little bit of health back in the process. Now I'm kind of scared of the Exploud and the Banet. Uh, Metacham not so much, we still have Fletch. And now that his Hitmon top is gone, actually, when his Banette comes in, I can switch into Drodagon and give it a little bit of residual damage, so that's not too bad either. Gotta be very wary of when I want to bring in Sneasel, because it only has one more Life Orb hit, I believe, remaining. So this is gonna be, I have to, uh, have to put in a lot of work for that one hit, unfortunately. That might have to be on Slowking, actually, we'll see. But, uh, he chooses to go into Exploud here. Um, he's probably faster than us, definitely. Uh, always and um, I don't really have a switch to this thing so do I let Electros go down here I mean Electros still puts in work on the Slowking and on the Deancey so I might want to sack off hmm, Aromatisse would that be the play I mean he's got like he can have Gunk Shot on his Banette he's probably got Bullet Punch on his Metacham so I don't see Aromatisse being too useful right here as we are going to go into that, and he's going to go for the Boom Burst, and it's going to knock us out, which tells me he's Specs. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, let's see here. Do we go into Sneasel? And predict the... I'm going to go into Sneasel, <coughs> and I'm going to predict the, um, the Deancey to want to come out. Because it's the only thing that takes the hit at this point, as he actually chooses to go Slow King, which is a little strange. Okay. Um... Gonna go into Electros here. I don't know if he was expecting Metal Claw, because that's not common. But he would have lost his Slow King right there, so that was really weird. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go for the Giga Drain right here. This is gonna do 24%. Good, good, good damage. As he's gonna go for the Scald right here. Is he gonna get the burn? No, he is not. And we'll be able to Giga Drain a little bit more health off. As we do get another 23% off right there. And I believe Volt Switch is able to take him out at this range. And uh, that's what we're gonna go for right here. So down goes the Slow King. I'm going to go into my Dredagon right now. <coughs> He's probably going to want to go into his um, into his Exploud and just get a pick up a kill right here. I think we lose this one. He's got way too many Mons left, unfortunately. The Rock's really hindered. Uh, not having Hazard Removal is uh, is very detrimental on this team, apparently. So I might have to change that up, but he's going to go for Boom Burst right there. I'm not sure. I think Fletchender actually takes him out with an Acrobatics, uh, even from this range. So we're going to go for that right here. And, uh, no, we do not, unfortunately. It only does, like, 60-something, so that's going to be a win for him, unfortunately. I'm having fun in this tier, though, guys. I can't lie. It's, uh, it's just, uh, it's experimental, basically, at this point. But we're going to go for our last battle here. And, uh, being suspect test, you, you're still at the bottom of the ladder. You can run into pretty much anything. That was a very, very good team, however. So, yeah, I'm just going to pause it until we get one, guys, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we got one, and this guy is a really cool team, I really like this, he's got a Scavalier, he's got Siglyph, which we already used in an RU Live, Typhlosion, uh, Bronzong, I, uh, I originally had Pursuit on Sneasel, specifically for Bronzong, to catch its switches, but we're gonna have to deal without it, he's actually very Weavile weak, uh, minus the Scavalier, everything else doesn't really take a hit too well, so... Definitely going to have to conserve Sneasel. Uh, looking at his team, his Stealth Rocker would be the uh, Bronzong. I'm not sure if it goes down to a Shadow Punch, but that's what I'm going to lead with regardless, as he does lead with Bronzong. And we're just going to go for it right here. Hopefully, we're able to take him out. I don't want him getting up rocks. And we are not. It does 96%. Uh, he goes for Reflect, though, so he doesn't go for rocks. That's very good. And uh, he can switch out on my next Shadow Punch, but it's fine. I'm just going to go for it again and knock out his Bronzong at this point. Uh, basically, he doesn't get rocks up this game, which is amazing for Fletch and Sneasel. As we saw in the last game, rocks hurt us tremendously, so we got to keep them off as well as we can. Luckily, he went for Reflect right there, so we'll see what we can do with the rest of this team. I do have Electros to handle the Escavalier every time it comes in. Well, every time it gets a kill, basically. And I also have... Uh, I also have Dredagon, which can deal with it relatively well. He does go choose to go into his Rotom. I'm not too scared of this thing. L Dredagon's pure Dragon typing is actually really, really good. Because uh, it takes hits uh, a lot better than, like, Dragon Flying and, and so on. So, right here I can Fire Punch. I'm pretty sure I break a sub. Uh, not if you Will-O-Wisps me, though. Uh, nope, we do not. 
So I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks right here. He doesn't have a way of setting up though, so I don't understand why he brought this in behind his sub. Then again, he doesn't have anything else to set up with either, so. He's gonna go for Thunderbolt right there. We are gonna get up our rocks, and I'm gonna Fire Punch again. Eventually this Reflect, <clears throat> I have something stuck in my throat, guys. I'm really sorry. Eventually this Reflect is gonna go away, and uh, it's gonna be in two turns from now, so I don't really wanna stay in on his next sub, however. I'm just gonna go into Aromatisse. I'm going to Heal Bell, and then I'm going to Wish Pass back into my, uh, well, Aromatherapy, and then I'm going to uh, Wish Pass back into my Dredagon to get its health back up, and then we'll be able to take on the Rotom more than likely. So it goes for Thunderbolt right there. We are going to go for the Aromatherapy, and we're going to go for a Wish right here. If he wants to burn us, that's fine. Um, he does choose to go for the T-Bolt. That does get a crit, unfortunately, so I might have to stay in to take my own Wish here. Uh, actually, I'm going to fire off a Moonblast, because unless he crits the next Thunderbolt, we are living, and we'll be able to more than likely break his sub, and we are not. Okay. Well, learn something new every day about Aromatisse. <laughs> so, uh, just going to go for Wish again. We're basically going to stall him out of Thunderbolts at this rate. Uh, he's going to para us right there, so I'm really going to hope I can break through the Paralysis and get off an Aromatherapy right here. Unfortunately, we're not doing enough to break his sub. He does miss a Leaf Storm, unfortunately, for him, and we are able to get off the Aromatherapy. That's very unfortunate. He would have been able to knock us out right there. Uh, but I am just going to go for a Moon Blast right here. Attempt to break the sub. He's going to go for another T-Bolt. He's going to get another Paralysis. That's crazy. That's two 10% chances twice. Uh, just going to go for Aroma right here. And uh, he does go for sub. That's great. We are going to get that away. And he's shown us his whole move set, so I'm not concerned. I'm just going to go for Wish right here. He goes for T-Bolt. And that's going to bring us down to 50. And let me just calc something real quick in my head. His T-Bolts are doing about 30. Leaf Storm is base 130, which is 40 more. So it's not double. So it shouldn't do 56. So I'm just going to fire off another Moon Blast right here. He's only got 7 Leaf Storms as well. If he starts wasting them on this, uh, then that could be bad for him. We are going to get our Wish right there. And this time I'm going to Wish Pass into Dredagon. And uh, we'll be able to break his sub even, I think, after Burn. So... I'm just going to go into Dread right now. If he chooses to go for a Leaf Storm trying to gauge the damage, then he's going to lose out. Uh, and there we go. So he goes for Thunderbolt, and we're going to be able to get a lot of... Uh, he gets another Para. Wow, this guy is lucky. Um, but that's actually good for us, because that means he can't burn us. So I'm just going to Fire Punch right here. He can T-Bolt all he wants. That's fine. That does 12%. <laughs> that's nothing. Uh, and he doesn't have a very good Fire Punch switch in other than Typhlosion. So I'm just going to Dragon Tail right here. We are not burned, so we'll be able to break subs even with uh, even with this thing behind us. Sub, we'll be able to break it with Dragon's Dragon Tail, and I don't want him going into Typhlosion and getting the Flash Fire boost. Exactly, there we go. So we should be able to Dragon Tail this thing out, and we do, and it comes back in with very minimal HP. So I love this thing being paralyzed right now. Actually, this is amazing. Um, just gonna Dragon Tail again. He can go for Air Slash Flinches. Uh, he actually chooses to go Cosmic Power, even though he's already seen Dragon Tail. We get fully parried on that turn, unfortunately. Just going to go for it again. He's going to Cosmic Power again. I don't really understand why. And we're just going to get him out of there. And soon send him into Escavalier. So right here, I am just going to go for the Fire Punch. He might want to attack me. He actually chooses to go for Sub, so that's okay. And uh, we get fully parried again. Okay, so I uh, got a Fire Punch again. And the great thing is that if he hits me, he takes a lot of residual damage. So we are going to break the sub right there. And uh, I'm just going to go for another Fire Punch. Basically, Dredagon's uh, 1v1ing his entire team right now. So uh, Hopefully he's not Specs Swallow. That could be a little bit of an issue. He actually knocks us out with the Iron Head right there, which I was not expecting. But anyway, um, Electros should be faster. Unless he's max speed Jolly, which I very much doubt. So we'll just go for Flamethrower right here. Even with an Assault Vest, it should be able to knock this thing out. It doesn't have very good special defense. If he wants to go into a, to, to Typhlosion, that's going to be its last switch in any way. So we are going to be able to knock out the Escavalier right there. And here, he doesn't have a very good play, honestly. Um, let's see, he chooses to go into Rotom. I'm just going to Flamethrower this thing endlessly, honestly. As he's going to go for a Substitute. We are going to be able to break the sub, I believe. Yeah, every time. And I'm just going to keep firing off Flamethrowers, honestly. And uh, I really don't care if he, he plays storms. You can see just how little that does thanks to the Assault Vest. We are going to be able to get this Flamethrower off, and it does a tremendous amount of damage. He may... Well, he doesn't have Pace and Pain Split, right? So um, I'm pretty free to Volt Switch right here uh, as he actually crits the Leaf Storm. So this guy's getting very lucky, but it doesn't really matter in the long run as we are going to be able to go into Sneasel right here and knock this thing out with a... Do I want to risk the Icicle Crash? I think Knockoff still takes it out. Then again, he might be physically defensive. 
Um, let's just go for the icicle crash, and we miss, of course. So, and he hits his, uh, he hits his Will-O-Wisp, so this is really unfortunate. Uh, I can't forget that I actually have a Heal Beller, so I'm gonna switch out my Sneasel. I don't want to take any more damage. I'm just gonna go straight into Aromatisse. Hopefully he doesn't crit anymore, and this is the end of it, but he chooses to go for the Thunderbolt. As you can see, it does 10%, so we are gonna get off another Aromatherapy right here. He can't really do anything. Like, he can get behind a sub if he wants. He goes for Leaf Storm. That doesn't do anything. I'm going to wish and really pray he doesn't get another crit at any point. He's running out of Leaf Storms at this point as well. So, uh, I am just going to... What do I want to do here? I'm just going to Moonblast and uh, catch his Swellow. So, we're going to do a lot of damage to that thing. And uh, knock it out, actually, straight away. So, Swellow is extremely frail, apparently. <laughs> That was crazy. If Aromatisse's uh, Moonblast didn't even break Rotom's sub, but it knocked out Swellow. I don't know. I don't know the calcs on these things. But anyway, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below as usual. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more in your sub boxes. Leave a comment if, uh, even if you have any team suggestions, actually. I'd really like to use some of your teams. If you have RU teams, even in the other tiers, and you want to see me use them, I'd be happy to. Just make sure they're decently competitive because, of course, I do like to win. It's alright to lose. You learn from losing experiences as we did before. We learned that this team is ex extremely rock weak. That's why we led with uh, with Gawlurk this game and we tried to knock out his Bronzong. So, uh, as you can see, we uh, I don't mind losing too much, honestly. It's uh, it's just, it, I don't like losing repeatedly, but I, I don't mind losing from time to time. It's a great learning experience. So, if you guys want to uh, give me sets, give me uh, full teams to use, I'll be happy to use them. And uh, yeah, that's about it again, guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Ciao.